Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Cynthia of Cynthia Plans and this week I am planning the first full week of November. Today the video is coming out on election day. I hope you either voted today or voted sometime before today. It's so important to vote and I hope you made your voice heard. But we're going to go ahead and plan the week of November 2nd through the 8th here. And to plan this week, I have a kit, which I know I've probably shared before when I got my recent order from the Peach Palm. So this week I'm planning with this autumn kit here. It's pretty fitting because it kind of has cool tones to it. And we actually have some cooler weather for a change, which is really, really nice. I'm very excited about it. And then I've got my list off to the side here. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the date covers first and then go in and put my functional stickers down and we'll get to chatting around then. Alright, so believe it or not, that's actually all the things that I have for this week that I know for a fact are happening. So this I'm pointing out, I'm pointing out the fact that planning together is at 8 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow on my planner because I don't know if I rem even mentioned it, but I was on Darian Plan's episode of planning together. I think it's been about two weeks now since that episode happened, and I'm not sure if I actually ever mentioned that it happened and where you can find it, so I will put a link in this video in the description if you want to go back and watch it, but I got a lot of really great feedback, especially for those that are content creators or hope to grow into content creating as kind of a side hustle or a full-time career or whatever it might be. So if you're interested, I will link that in the description so you can go back and watch it but honestly I highly recommend you watch all of the episodes that have come out because it's a really great program you get to know about people in the planner community a little bit more in my opinion intimately and get to know them a little bit better and it's just a really fun time Darian is a great person so I'm going to link her channel and the video in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out so that's kind of what I have going on for the week obviously like I said the video comes out on election day so by this point Stats day will already have happened for me. And then this is actually a little box that I put here for my husband's first day of work. So I do need to go back and write that in. He, I'm filming this video actually on Tuesday during my lunch break, so happy election day. But he started yesterday and he really loves it. I kind of got a late start on this week, so that's why I'm filming a little bit later. So I do have some great news in that he's been enjoying it so far and that he has a promising feeling about it. So I'm very excited about that. So that's kind of what we have going on for this week, not a whole lot. I I'm trying to stay indoors as much as possible for the foreseeable future just because we just don't know what's going to happen with the election and I know emotions are running high so I feel like it's just safest to stay at home and unless it's absolutely necessary to go out for work or something like that we're just gonna kind of hunker down at home and spend some time together so that's what I have going on this week. I realized that I haven't published any videos on Friday lately. I've just been super busy. I do hope that by this coming Friday, I can publish a new video. I was planning to publish a video about the content planner probably about two weeks ago at this point, but I've just gotten super busy as I just said. So hopefully 
fingers crossed this Friday that video will be coming out. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I did also go ahead and publish on my blog yesterday, or no, excuse me, Sunday, November 1st, my gratitude reflection challenge. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I did that last year. So I brought it back this year because I felt like more than ever, we needed something to kind of ground us and help us stay focused on what's important and what matters. So I do have that up on my blog. And of course, there's always a link to my blog in the video description if you wanted to go ahead and try that out. You don't have to do all of the prompts. It's kind of a private thing. If you want to share it and tag me on social media, that's great, but it's not expected. It's really just for you to kind Kind of work through some of your feelings and experiences from the past year if some of the prompts i mentioned this in my kind of disclaimer on social media if some of the prompts are a little bit too deep for you to go into right now like that's cool too you don't have to do them you can do them as you wish it doesn't have to be that you do all 26 or that you do them every single day of this month you kind of just have to do what works for you so definitely check that out if you are looking to use some prompts to help you with journaling I've, I've found in this last year journaling is a helpful tool for me to kind of work through what I'm feeling and experiencing at really difficult points and hopefully it can be for you too. I will stop rambling. Last thing I'm gonna do is put my weekly sticker over here for our meal plan and I'm actually planning our meal plan a little bit differently and I'll show that to you in just a quick second. So let me show you what I'm doing with my meal plan. So I got this pad from cloth and paper. I can't remember. I think it came in our sub box. Yeah, it came in our sub box. And so I've seen people plan their meal plan monthly. And I thought that was a really intriguing way of planning ahead. I've never tried planning on a monthly basis. So I'm giving it a try for the month of November. So just went ahead and put all the different days, what our different meal plan could be. Obviously, you guys know every Tuesday we do tacos. I'm trying to do tacos on Tuesday and maybe takeout on Friday and then try to be thinking of meals that I can create leftovers from during the week because it gets really exhausting having to cook something new every single night. So I'm giving this a try. We'll see how it goes for this month and I will give you some feedback hopefully next month at some point during one of my plan with me's to let you know how it's going. But I am glad that I got this pad because I, at first I wasn't even sure what I was gonna do with it and to be honest I like my monthly the way that I use it currently in my planners to keep track of appointments deadlines birthdays that kind of stuff and I didn't want to congest it even more with a meal plan so I'm really curious to see how this goes and I'm feeling very hope hopeful and optimistic about it so yeah that's what I'm using I don't know if this is available to purchase on the cloth and paper website yet but it wasn't a recent sub box so I do expect that at some point it'll become a Available for purchase if it isn't already so yeah I just thought I would share this as kind of a different thing for me if you already plan your meal plan like this let me know in the comments I'd be curious to know any strategies or tips that you have for it but I'm hopeful that this is going to keep us a little bit more on track and help me get a handle on meal planning so I don't feel like I'm constantly catching up with it all right so last thing is going to be to put some washi down and she does have this sheet here with washi which I think I will use
Okay, so I do think, I thought this was washi, but these are actually just like little arrows. So I'm gonna grab some pink really quick and use that to complement what's in here. I like how that looks. It helps bring in some of the pink a little bit more and that looks good to me. So let me move this stuff out of the way here. My planner was getting kind of thick with my September and October inserts, so I took those out and I'll keep November and December in here. So this is what my week is looking like and I'll probably go and add some things in later on, but so far this is what I have going on. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. To all of my long-term viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back every single week. And to all of you out there, please stay safe and be well.